Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to another Swap and Stop episode. Today I'm going to be starting this uh, John Boat project. Mark and I are building mud boats, and uh, this is a boat I selected. It's a 12-foot John Boat by 32 at the bottom and 42 at the top. I'm going to be going with a 13-horsepower Predator and the mid-size uh, Swamp Runner kit. project's probably going to take me a couple months, hopefully. Um, hopefully less than that, not longer. Uh, I plan on painting it. I'm going to do um, first things first. I'm going to go ahead and redo the transom today. That'll be the first series of the build. As you've seen in my previous video, what I went through to go ahead and get this boat titled and registered. There's some tips if you plan on doing a John Boat motor build or a mud boat build. Things to look out for and things to be careful with plan on titling it and using it on uh, public water actually. Do you want a chance to win both of these shirts for free? All you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. And if you want to get more entries into this raffle, just click right here to get more info about the raffle. All right, so I got all the rivets out, and it's a little bit of a task, but got them all knocked out except one that's in the corner. So you wouldn't you wouldn't know it by looking at it. After getting this piece of wood out, you can really tell how deteriorated it is. So it looked pretty good from the outside. I'm really glad that uh, I decided to go this route. So growing up, um, I had a couple friends that had John boats, and uh, we have some pretty wild stories uh, on these John boats. Drop a comment down below on uh, some of the, your most memorable stories that you have out on a John boat with some friends. I went ahead and purchased um, two half inch pieces of uh, plywood, and I'm gonna glue those two together. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give me two inches from the bottom, and then uh, just have a full size transom. I'm gonna go ahead and sand all this down, get it all cleaned up, and get it prepped for my new piece of wood. I'm using 120, 120 grit sandpaper. That just happened. All right, let's pull a manual. Never seen that happen before. I think it just disintegrated. All right, so this is two feet by 48, 48 inches. I'm not gonna be using all of that. So, let me get the center. And then we're gonna do 45 inches.
All right, so I got this uh, plywood fitted up. It's gonna sit about like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy it, and uh, when I go to put it in, I'm gonna hit it with some 5200 uh, along the back and put it in there, get the through bolts through and tighten it up. To clean this off, I'm using xylene. Not for any particular reason, I just happen to have it. All right, so now I've marked a few of the spots that I want to cover with the uh, the JB Weld. So we're going back in here. So my next step is going to be putting the transom bolts through with some 5200 on them. All right, so here I'm gonna go ahead and install this brace. It's gonna go about like that. So we're gonna find the center here. 18 and a half, it's gonna be our center. All right, so here I have a little bit of a situation. Um, obviously, I gotta drill these out and then put some, put a nut behind it. Unfortunately, um, I really don't wanna do this, but I'm gonna have to cut out a small section so I can reach down in there and get the nut behind there. Um, I'll probably just try to fold this piece up, bring it back down and then 5200 it and then uh, this was going to get a piece of plywood over it anyhow. Now being that this is pretty thin aluminum, I think it's something like, I don't know, probably 26 gauge aluminum. I'm going to go ahead and use some of that diamond plate, cut out a piece the same size of this, put it in the back and that'll be my backing to kind of have a little bit stronger of a grip there. 
rather than just having the bolts go through with these washers. I'm gonna cut out the foam that's in there. So I'm gonna try with this. Hopefully it works out. Alright, so I got the uh, brace installed. As you can see here, I went with some 3 8 bolts all the way through. I made a plate to go on that back side so that this 26 gauge or 20 gauge aluminum um, has a little bit better support there. Now on this side, so on this side I went with quarter inch bolts, the same as everything else, and uh, went through here and silicone the back of this guy so it's on there pretty solid i think that's plenty of support for uh, a mode motor so that wraps up my transom project all right guys thanks for tuning in to this uh swamp stomp diy um as you can see i'm already moving on with the build this is a an epoxy coat that i'm going with here so if you want to see how i got this done and um, how it came out Make sure you hit this button over here to subscribe and check out our playlist on the DIYs where you'll see find more videos. If you want to see videos of us hunting, click right over here.